Hi planner friends, it's Marcia with Buy Sell Plan. In today's video, I'm just gonna do a flip through of the month of April in my binder since May 1st is coming up and I will be changing things up a little bit. So I'm gonna give you a little flip of how my binder has been set up for the month of April. So I have this card from Cloth and Paper. That's the month overview and I've referenced this a lot actually when I've needed to know what day we're on. And I have some business cards in here, just in case. And I have this cloth and paper um, card in box zero. I trimmed it down so that it would fit in here. And just some post-its or sticky notes. These are from Poy and Hun. Just a couple in there. And here I have my stem the two stencils that I use the most in my daily planning. And I have some Franklin Planner sticky notes as well that match perfectly with this binder and with the dividers that I have in here. Okay. And I don't have, oh, do I? I didn't think I had, oh, I do too. That's right. Some wipes for my readers or my phone. The screen on my phone or my computer. Okay. So this is my kind of cover page as soon as you open up my binder here. This is my word of the year intention. I made this on vellum and then I just um, used this Ollie clip to attach it to this Franklin planner divider. And then this is from cloth and paper. Um, intention came in one of my subscription boxes. And so yeah, I just Ollie clip those together. And then this, uh, these are my task cards for my planning. And I love this. And I like how this layers make this moment count. Just a nice thing to see when you open up your binder. And then I have some motivational um, journaling cards from, I believe these are all from cloth and paper. And the card holder, the business card holder is from Franklin Planner. And I trim down a lot of these cards to fit in here. Some already fit, but others I had to trim down. Okay, and then my clear dividers are from Dividers Are Us. I do have a promo code um, if you'd like to get these as well. 15% off, and I labeled them myself with my label maker. So first section is my schedule. This uh, dashboard is from um, Cloth and Paper. I just love, I love the simplicity of it. Own your own story. And I liked having this at the very front of my schedule section. Okay, and then my monthly divider. This again is from Franklin Planner. I think it's the Gingham, Gar G Gingham Gardens tab dividers or Planner Love. I don't remember. I'll find out and, uh, and let you know. Um, and I just trimmed off the tabs. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. And then I'm in the Carrera inserts for now. Switching to... Um, switching to the sandstone in uh, July. So this is, I think I've already gone through all of those with you. So here is my April calendar. And I loved having these um, Happy Planner stickers on here just for a little pizzazz. Okay. And then my master task list. Alrighty, and then my today tab, I have these clear, um, what do you call these? They're from cloth and paper and they just stick on. They're very sticky, but they also come off really easily and they don't leave any residue on your divider. And then these are from cloth and paper as well. I just put my AM and my PM routines in here just for easy reference. Okay, and... Here is my April cover page. Now this is for an index, um, but I like to put my goals on here for the month and I use the index um, that's at the start of my monthlies because I don't need two, two pages for it to index. I don't really have that much information that I need to uh, index. So I'll just quickly flip through here. I use different colors each week for stickers to notate appointments and phone calls. And sometimes I'll use little, little stickers as well for fun, but I mainly use my stencils to indicate 
um, what I'm doing. I binged Schitt's Creek um, this month and oh my gosh, I've been missing out. That show is so good and so funny. I can't believe I hadn't watched it. I thought, well, because it's Canadian, you know, Canadian content. I'm in Canada, I shouldn't say that, but there's been a lot of Canadian shows that haven't been that great. So I just didn't. And then I just thought, okay, you know what? What the heck? It kept showing up on Netflix. So I watched the pilot and I was like, oh my God, this is hilarious. And then I binged it and I freaking loved it. And I'm sad now that it's over. I think I watched it in like two weeks. So, yeah. So here we are halfway through. I don't use these pages as much as I could. And I then sometimes I think about going down to day on one page and then I thought, then I think, well, there will be that, you know, those times that I'm gonna want this for notes because there are some times that I do take a fair amount of notes and then I'll regret not having them, so. And every now and then I like to document when we have a really nice day because I do look back on these. I don't do it a lot, but I do look back on these and it's nice to reflect back on like, oh, that's when the spring weather started last year or that year. So it's been a great month, kind of a slow month in terms of activity, but that was on purpose. Um, because we had such a busy first three months of the year that uh, we, we were tired. We were really tired, so we needed to just take it easy. So those are my monthlies. And then my weekly section. This is, again, from Franklin Planner. And my weeklies are the Blooms Week on Two Page Timed Inserts. So here's the month of April. And then here's where I keep my... Um, weekly task list and then I do my recap on the back of each week under the weekly notes section and I do like to see my week at a glance even though my more detailed planning and tasks are on my dailies I like to see my week at a glance and then also when I do my mileage um, it's nice to not have to flip through page by plate page by page I can see um, the week at a glance And then I use a cloth and paper um, uh, transparent page flag to mark the week that I'm on for my tasks. Okay, and then here's my social media section. I love this is my favorite dashboard. Inspire from Franklin Planner. These are from cloth and paper. And these came in a um, subscri subscription box a couple months ago. And this is... You can see the layout, it's it's um, vertical, undated. And this isn't my style of planning for my day-to-day -day or, my, or my weekly planning. So my thoughts on this are what I'm gonna do for my YouTube channel, um, my real estate YouTube channel, like a week in the life of a realtor. And then based on what I have going on um, and then plan out, so write down the, what I have going on and then plan out how I'm gonna film and kind of what my vision is for for what I'm filming. So that's what I have these in here for because I, I really feel that the layout would be good for that. And then here I just use these cloth and paper executive style notes, uh, note pages for ideas for my YouTube channel. And then I have motivational quotes that I like. So if I just want to do just like a regular picture with, um, like a motivational quote. I have some here and then I just check off the ones that I use so that I don't use them more than once. And then some more ideas, getting into reels. They're pretty fun to make, but a little bit time consuming. Okay, and then my buy sell plan section also for social media. So this is under the social media tab. So I have one for real estate and then my um, planner channel. And again, these are from Franklin Planner and then the executive style um, note-taking sheets from cloth and paper. I have my ideas in here and then my goals tab. Again this is from Franklin Planner 
and then this came in a subscription box. So this is a 2021 overview, and I like these for quarterly planning. So this was the first quarter of the year. Hit all my goals, and then this is quarter two. So when I do my May planning, I will fill this in for the month of May. And then what I do here is I just circle when we sell a house or when, when it goes um, pending. So that means that there's no conditions, no contingencies. We are clear to close. So that's what I'm um, documenting up there. I'm tracking up there. Okay, and then these are just part of the same little booklet, um, 2021 aspirations and accomplishments. So I should fill this out actually, because we've accomplished a lot this year so far. And then these are all things that I've shared in my um, 2021 setup. And I just keep this in here for reference. And I guess I could take this out because this was for quarter one and I've pretty much accomplished everything. And I've started one here for quarter two. And then here's my quarter one numbers. And um, I redid my goals after the first quarter and set up set new goals so I just have that in there for reference and then I have an extra goal planning page and then I have my values my rules and goals starting point questions evaluation questions mission statement that is all in my goals tab and then for wellness this is um these two are from cloth and paper this is the balance dashboard and the old ways won't open new doors dashboard. I thought those looked really nice together. And then these are from Franklin Planner Teresa Collins collab. And I use these daily highlight sheets for daily gratitude. And then I use the Franklin Planner um, health and fitness trackers. So I do a month at a time in here. And this is where I track. On the one side, I track all of my meals. And then on the other side, I track my fitness and then how I'm feeling each day based on where I am in my cycle. So if I have um, a really bad day in terms of a stomach flare up or pain in my low back and hip, I can take a look back and see, okay, like if it's digestive related, what did I eat that could have triggered that, right? Or what kind of exercise did I do that could have triggered a relapse? Um, yeah, so this is just a way for me to track where I am in my cycle and what kind of activity to do based on where I am in my cycle and it's really helped me a lot feel more balanced and more in control of my body and then when I've done a really good full body workout I just put it on here years and years and years and years and years ago I was a personal trainer and I worked in the fitness industry for over two decades so I know a lot of exercises to do so I don't always plan ahead of time but when I do a really good workout and I'm like a full body workout I'm like I like that one I'm gonna write those down so I remember the order that I did things so every now and then I'll do that and then I refer to it and yeah so these are just notes just about wellness health and wellness fitness this is where I track my cycle that's what that's about and then when I have appointments with my naturopath I document when the appointment was and then um, the results of the appointment. And then, and then I just have some of these executive style um, notes from cloth and paper. I just have one in there just in case. I want to start some notes. My business tab. And again, this is from Franklin Planner, the business card holder. And then I put the um, cloth and paper journaling cards in there. I think it looks really nice. And I like how these like kind of muted colors, they match really well with the binder. So my business section, I chose this dashboard of a house, which makes sense because I'm a real estate agent and I just love it. It's so pretty, so subtle. Okay, and then this is the minimum standards um, that we have on our team. So daily, weekly, and monthly to be successful. So we do have it in our, our intranet, but I like to have a, a printed out one in my planner to have on hand at all times. Some of this stuff I won't be able to show. Um, I have these contact logs where um, if I get a lead that I can't get to my, my computer and get to my database right away, um, I put their information down and just jot notes from our initial conversation and then I do transfer them to my database. So I have a couple pages of those. Um, 
So, and then I have some extra ones as well. And then here's where I track my activity for each month for the whole year. I track it digitally as well, but I do like to have pen to, I'm just pen to paper, right? I know you guys can all understand. Um, and I just like to have this to look at. So if I'm in meetings and things like that, I always have my numbers with me and I don't have to look it up digitally. My social media tracking, this is for my real estate channels and then my quarterly recap pages. And then this is just, um, again, cloth and paper, um, not Cornell, uh, executive notes um, that I use for, you know, when I need to take notes. And then these are 2021, all the closings. Um, when we sell a house, I put down when the closing date is. Next pages I cannot show you because I have a lot of information on them. Okay, and then I have a few of these pages as well for notes. And then I have a coach. So I have um, a tab in here for coaching. So I just, every coaching call, I jot down all the nuggets, the golden nuggets that I can apply to my business. Okay, and then I have a section here for team. So you'll see in my business section, I made um, these little kind of sub tabs. And these are um, the transparent uh, I don't know what they're called, transparent, they're not page flags, like sticky notes, I guess, from cloth and paper. And I just labeled uh, them with my label maker. So I have one CEO, that's all like work-related stuff. And then for my coaching calls, and then I have one for my team. So team meetings, um, team ideas, things like that. So I have the, this information record sheet. Um, and what I do on the top is I write down the team member's name when they started with the team, their buyer's agent or not, and then just every kind of training meeting or meeting that I have with that individual agent, I write down the notes from, from the meeting because in that way, if there's ever, um, you know, a discrepancy in something, I can reflect back and go, yes, I did. We did discuss that. We did agree on that. Um, just helps to stay organized. Or in the same thing, if they needed something from me, I, I write it down and then I can look back and go, okay, what did I, you know, what did I need to do to help support uh, my team? And then I check it off when it's done. And then this is just team training ideas as they come to my head, like, oh, I need to train them on that. I just jot it down there. And then my personal section, this is kind of a combination of everything. My digital declutter dashboard, this is from Cloth and Paper from one of our subscription boxes. And I thought it layered really nicely with the... Franklin Planner um, divider. So my meal planning um, inserts from um, Franklin Planner. And I'm glad I'm getting back into this because it's really helping on really busy days. And then instead of a shopping list, what I do is I take inventory of what I have. Um, so this is all the food that I have in the house. And then I can make my meal plan based on this. We get our groceries delivered. Um, so yeah, instead of making a shopping list, I order what I need online. And then when I get in the house, I take inventory of what I have. And these are just references. So as I discover, could be planner shops, could be like, there's a makeup artist in here. Um, regression therapy, you know, there's a, a doctor's name in here. Um, fresh, you know, um, online grocery order. Um, yeah, just a whole bunch of stuff. There's like a furniture store because I saw a really nice sectional sofa that I really liked. Um, an arborist. So just references um, of places that I'll need in the future. And then this is books to read, TV shows to watch. And then this is movies and TV shows that I have watched um, and have started. And then this is my purchase tracker. I got these from Franklin Planner as well. And I just check them off once they arrive. That way I can keep track and remember what's coming. And then my wish list. Things that I want. And then I did, um, um, I did this a while ago. This is an inventory of all the books that I have in my house. So I don't forget. Because I have bought the same book twice. Because I forgot that I had, had it. So yeah, that's what this is about. And then I will be checking off, like indicating once I've read it, 
So there's a lot in here that I'm, oh, I did read that one. There's a lot in here though that I'm like, I'll have a couple books on the go. Uh, Untamed, I finished that one. That one was so good. Um, yeah, I have some that I'm, it's like, oh, I have a chapter left in that book. I have a chapter left in that book because I'll, I'll do that, right? Like, okay, you know what? I've only got a chapter left. I'm going to start this book because I really want to read this one. And then sometimes I don't make it back. So I got to do that. These are from Franklin, sorry, these are from Cloth and Paper Reading Logs. I started it and then I didn't finish using them. If you guys use these, let me know how, how you use them. And then these are the Cornell style note-taking sheets from Franklin, from Cloth and Paper. Uh, and these are just, um, yeah, um, bedroom makeover and bathroom reno. These are the next two projects household projects that we want to tackle. So these are just some ideas that we've started jotting down. And then I just made like a chore list of how often chores should be done. Um, and I'm going to start um, making like a schedule for the family to follow to make sure that everything gets done. And then these are just my husband and I brainstormed on um, things that we would like to get done this year around the house and approximately what it would cost. So that's what that's about. And that's pretty much it. And then I have one of these pocket folder, um, if that's what it's called, from Franklin Planner. So pretty. And then this is a dentist. Yes, dentist bill from 2021. I'm self-employed, so I keep my receipts so I can submit them at tax time. So I like to keep them in one place. The ones that I get on paper. A lot of them... Um, email them so I have a subfolder in my email but some of them still get paper so then I put that in there and then these page lifters are from my Teresa Collins binder um, because all the Franklin planner binders come with the black page lifters but I really like how the clear looks with the um, with the light binder so that's what that is and then this ruler I got from Indigo before Christmas and that's it that is my April flip through of my Sierra Sagebrush Binder. Hope you enjoyed. Watch for my next video. I'm going to be recapping the month of April and planning for the month of May. And I think I might switch things up. I might switch binders and I might switch up my um, dividers and such. So stay tuned. If you have any questions, let me know. And for 15% off your Franklin Planner items, um, you can use my code buy, sell, plan. And I do have a, co a code uh, Marsha15 for 15% off at Dividers or Us. I will um, link those below. Okay. Have a wonderful day, you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.